before the blue colorista you can see that it's very dried out on the ends brownish kind of yellow so i'm expecting the ends to really soak this up and turn it either blue or possibly green maybe blue green because it's kind of yellowish but we'll see right they voted yes 61 to 1. Let's do this. I've got on the old shirt, the old hair, the new color. I actually purchased this from Amazon to add to my conditioners and shampoos just to give it a little bit of toner quality because if you have gray hair, it turns yellow if you don't put some kind of toner in there. The purple, I didn't care for the purple color, so I thought, well, I'll just try a little bit of blue. And then I got the broad idea of letting my kids vote if they passed their safety and sanitation test 100%, each person who passed. Got to vote whether I was going to dye my hair or not. So it's semi-permanent color, so it won't stay in there forever, but it will stain my hair for a very long time. For bleach, light blonde, or highlighted hair, doesn't say it's for gray. I teach middle school, so I'll let the kids vote, the ones who passed their test with 100%, and I did it. So here's some before and after pictures. You can see on the pictures on the left, that's what it looked like before, and the pictures on the right are what it looked like after I colored it. It was a very slight um, but pretty result, I do believe. I like it. Stick around and I'll show you the product details. I'll show you how I applied it. I'll show you what it looked like on my hair styling apparatus and what it looked like a couple of days after shampooing. It lasts approximately 5 to 10 shampoos. This is Blue 600. It has no ammonia, no peroxide. It's vegan. Here's the information. If you want to pause it and read all that. The ingredient list, um, fade shampoo after shampoo, so it doesn't last forever. So it gives you lots of pictures on here. You can customize it. I'm just going to put it all over. I may pull up some of the gray on top and leave it not colored. My kids had to do a color prediction on what they think might happen to my hair. And we're thinking that mine's going to look more like that on the bottom and more like this on the top. We'll see. Easy application. Do not mix with peroxide. Shampoo and dry hair fully done that. Use gloves. Apply product onto desired areas of the scalp. Saturate hair. You on for 30 minutes. Rinse hair thoroughly with water. Provided in this kit is a color tube, gloves, instruction sheet, and expert brush. Let's do this. So, yep, I needed another little brush like this anyway. Wow, that's a lot of hair coloring. Do I need to use the whole thing? Yeah, I'm going to need the English side. All right, you can choose the sections of your hair you want to color. I'm just going to put it all over because why not? I'm not going to test it. Okay, same, 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 same. Says to do a strand preview test. I'm not doing that either. Protect your skin. I've got an old shirt. Fully dry your hair. Don't apply on scalp. It may stain. Don't even care. All right, so I'm going to leave it on 30 minutes because why not? I actually scored on the gloves. They gave me like a whole lot. I don't know if I'm going to even need this whole tube. I'm thinking this may be multiple applications. So let's do that. Use half the tube. How about that? looks more purple than blue and that's what I suspected. I really wanted to dye this for my powerlifting meet in about what I think it's 11 days 12 days something like that. They usually put a little purple tint on it and I saw this and thought hmm, that might be kind of purplish. 
Here goes, right? Maybe I'll use the whole thing. It doesn't have an odor. It's not dripping. It's not runny. I like that. I like that. I never thought of a gel instead of a runny liquid. I hope you become very, very rich. I hope you get all your student loans paid off if you have them. I have very strong opinions about that. I really don't care if I have it even or not because it kind of streaky is like actually going to be okay. I hope it doesn't all fall out because Mm. That wouldn't be too cool, would it? Okay, I'm gonna get this up and going. If it's going to turn this yellow and green. Come back and put some more on that in a moment. the whole tube. What the heck, right? Love this consistency. Look at that. No dripping. I've colored my hair since I was in the seventh grade, mostly just for a sense of adventure. And it's been probably every color under the rainbow at one time or the other. And then I learned that using a semi-permanent hair coloring actually conditioned my hair. It made it more manageable because my hair is very kinky and frizzy. So I don't know if this one is going to or not. It didn't say that it has any conditioning benefit. But you can check on my YouTube channel. I have several videos up about um, colors that I used to use on it. And my hair is so porous now that it's gray that even using the lightest color on it turned it darker than I wanted it to be. So I had to quit using that when I decided to let it go gray. I haven't colored in probably three or so years. The last thing that I put on it was we were at the beach years ago and i put some sun in on the roots to try to get them to kind of blend in or get a little bit lightened because it was coming in right at the coming in gray at the roots and just to try to get the black to kind of 
I'm going to blend in with the gray. And that worked for a while, but anytime I put peroxide on my hair, um, part Native American, don't know if that has anything to do with it, but, and you didn't even ask, did you? But anytime I put peroxide on my hair or anytime a beautician has put peroxide on my hair, it has fried it. It just breaks off and I've had my hair done in Beverly Hills several times and even having it done down there still breaks off when I have peroxide put on it. So I stay away from permanent hair colors since then. feeling squeaky clean. I still have some left in the tube. I can feel there's a little product left in there. So I'm going to go with this. And then I'm thinking I probably will have to come back and touch up the roots a little bit or put some, some kind of something in there to help it blend in as it grows, grows out. It's supposed to come out. It's supposed to wash out in five to seven shampoos. But in my experience, it doesn't all wash out especially if you have gray hair or really light hair. Some of it sticks around for a long time. So look at that. I still have much product left on my gloves either. So I'm going to stop filming because the light is blinding me and go around and touch up on the roots right here around the hairline. Set the timer for 30 minutes, go eat dinner, and then we'll come back and see if I have any hair left. And Maybe I'll be wig shopping. It only took me about nine minutes in real time to put this on. I sped up some of the parts just because boring. And um, then it took me about 30 seconds to touch up some of the places on the back. So we're gonna set this for, ooh, what? Thirty minutes. The thirty minutes are up, but I'm not done eating, so I'll set it for another. 15 minutes. It's blue. It's blue. <laughs> I used my hot brush today to brush through my blue hair, and you can see the some of the pigment did come off on the hot brush. This brush is pretty easy to clean, but I just wanted you to know that um, be careful about putting this blue hair on anything because it may come off on something. Let's see how easy it comes off. This is just a wash rag with water. So fairly easy. Probably a little bit easier if I put some shampoo or soap on it. Add it, add a little bit of soap here. Ooh, may not all come off. Oh no. Oh well. Well, there's that. I washed my hair one time, and I'll pull it down and show you how much color came out. But I want to show you this while I got it uh, snapped up on top of my head. I tell my kids that my yellow ends, they call them brown, would probably be turn green. And I don't know if you can see this on the video or not, because sometimes it distorts color, but... It is, it does have a greenish tint to it. And this is under LED lights in the bathroom and the light on my camera. But can you see that it is a green, a little bit on the ends? So I'm gonna wash it one more time before I go to my competition. And I will actually probably put some purple toner on these ends, but it is washing out. But it is leaving a greenish residue on the bottom. I still like it though. It's still, it's still a great hair color. But my kids, after I washed it Wednesday, they said, oh, it's getting lighter. It's not so bright blue. You can still see a lot of the blue in there. Colorista. This is after the third shampoo after using the Colorista. Big excuse mess in the back. I'm packing for powerlifting meat. So you can see it's still a lot blue up here where it was gray and down here on the ends where it's really dried. You can, or I hope you can see the greenish tint. I'm probably gonna cut this part off after my powerlifting meet anyway, 
that because my singlet is purple, I'm going to put my regular Bold Unique Purple shampoo over this, and we'll see what happens to it. So, but I do like this hair coloring. I've ordered another one for next month in the purple instead of the blue. I've used my hot brush several times after dyeing it blue, and the blue dye is coming off of my hot brush. If the color on your stylers are precious to you, then maybe this is not for you. If you have time before you go, watch another video. And please leave a comment, give the video a thumbs up, share this video if you're appropriate, and thanks for watching.